Brown, starting a new job or position can be very stressful. So should you always go on first impressions when it comes to your other associates? Or how does that work exactly? First impressions can be informative. I worry, though, that we may prejudge individuals on that first impression. To all who work in uh, organizations, instead of going around trying to slot people into pigeonholes, if there were more, what are you up to? How's it going? I think that would have a, a wonderful redemptive influence upon the work climate. But I think what I'm trying to get to is how do you know who you can trust? For example, from my own experience, when I've started a new job, I found that the people who really try and befriend me very quickly are actually trying to scope me out because I'm competition, whereas the friends you eventually oh, make yeah. uh, are the ones that were yeah. more reserved to begin with and then you develop naturally that way. Right, yeah. I don't think there's a litmus test of knowing which is which, although their reputation can sometimes uh, be very helpful in that. And so doing a certain degree of due diligence, I mean, short of being scurrilous gossiping, but just finding out, um, uh, well, what, what do people think of David? Or, um, oh, I met David. He seems a nice guy. And as soon as they say, oh, Oh, yes, yes, he's a nice guy. <laughs> you have that little flare that goes up saying, warning, check out, check this out. And I think another concern for people starting new positions is when put in a stressful situation, you can almost adopt a personality that isn't yours. For example, you can overcompensate and seem yes. really arrogant just to sort of get through that situation. So how do you yes. sort of overcome that? Again, awareness is really crucial. Seeing videotapes of oneself can be really illuminating. And most people don't see, well, selfies notwithstanding, <laughs> most people don't see themselves interacting with others and they say, oh my goodness, I had no idea I was that gorgeous and intense and beautiful. But more likely they don't say that. More like, yeah, the interesting thing is that when people see themselves on videotapes, they usually, typically, see themselves as worse than they actually think they, they are. The exception of this are narcissists, particularly men. Those who are narcissists, in looking at video replays of the uh, interacting, this was done with MBA students at Berkeley, they say, I am awesome. <laughs> <And> there <laughs> seems to be oblivious <laughs> to the norm that no, when most people look at themselves interacting, they see themselves as a little less attractive and awesome than they, than they think. So finally, if you came into a new job and you were aware that you did this when you were nervous, sort of overcompensated, right. could you go in and say, look, I'm sorry if I seem a bit bullshit, I'm nervous, or would that set you up for people to just right. judge you from the very beginning? Yeah, that's what we're, I think it's a really fine line. It has to be done in such a way that people will change their opinion, say, well, we all do that. On the one hand, another saying, oh boy, we've, we've got a lot of emotional baggage walking in the door on Thursday morning. And uh, it's a matter again of discernment. Mm -hmm.